The NVIDIA RTX 50 series GPUs are experiencing a massive price drop over in Germany. Models like the RTX 5070 Ti and the RTX 5080 are actually available at their MSRP and or below their MSRP price for the first time in over five months. This does indicate a huge decline in the demand of their graphics cards and the trend does show that consumers holding off on the upgrade to the GPUs is actually paying off. Next up is ASUS changing and rolling out a huge update for the Rogue Alley handheld and the Rogue Alley X handheld. This new firmware version V32.0.13031.902 Hopefully you guys really respect and enjoy the fact that I just barely stated all of those numbers for you. Anyways, Introducing the AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2.1 support, which does enhance the image quality and the reduced ghosting in supported games. This update aims to provide a smoother gameplay experience for all of the people that are using this thing. I personally just use the ASUS Rogue Alley that I have for emulation. It's, I mean, it's definitely a great handheld for that kind of stuff. And uh, nostalgia, your boy likes uh, retro stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm a retro nerd here. The leaked specifications for AMD's upcoming RX 9000M series mobile GPUs have surfaced online. And this does reveal a range of options from the high-end RX 980M to the more budget-friendly RX 960, M or 9060 and 9080. Apologize for not stating the zeros there. These GPUs based on the RDNA 4 architecture promise a huge performance improvement for the gaming laptops. Nvidia ended up releasing a new game ready driver version 576.28, addressing a bunch of issues reported by users. Notably, it fixes crashes inside of games like Black Myth Wukong and Red Dead Redemption 2 for the RTX 50 series GPUs. This update aims to enhance stability and performance across a bunch of titles. For me personally, I did install this update. And what I did notice when installing this update is this monitor right here is actually turning on now when I boot my computer. Intel ended up confirming that the upcoming Panther Lake CPUs are on track for a late 2025 release. These processors are gonna utilize the 18A process node, which does aim to deliver improved performance and efficiency, and Intel is committed to these timeline underscores. So anyways, now that everything is kind of going back to normal and I'm not like some frustrated, angry, ignorant, upset, arrogant prick that's just like angry for like reasons that I doubt I need to explain anybody that was running a PC business throughout the past five months. I'm guessing you were just as annoyed with the market as me. So yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. I don't want to go down the rabbit hole here. Let me know what you guys think about the new format and style of the video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.